Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today's video is brought to you by Soul Grinder Zine. And Soul Grinder Zine always has some good stuff. I really like this artwork. You have the Leprechaun, some Gremlins, Chucky, looks like Ghoulies, Critters. The Sumerian Rat Monkey. Some awesome stuff here. And, uh, Puppet Master. So th this is cool. Uh, 2022. And there's a, a sticker version. And they also sent the CD over, which I have... I don't have a working CD player, but this does not look like something that's even up my alley. Um, and this is called MX with Relapse. I'm sorry, this just looks... Yeah, I don't know. We'll find out what it sounds like whenever I get to be in the car. But... Yeah, I honestly have no idea, but I'll check it out, and maybe it will end up in the patron prize pack. But, now, I actually heard this release earlier on in the year, and when I got it, I was like, I had no idea people liked this band enough for it to be on vinyl and now if you're a fan of like municipal waste hazardous mutation like DRI your obvious crossover thrash act you might like the Donner Party but here on Cutting Class which is released through Soul Grinder Records, which I think is cool. And so is this artwork here, but I'm sorry. I hate the whole pizza thrash thing. It's a total turnoff. And uh, this seems to be autographed as well. But honestly, like the main standout for the Donner Party on Cutting Class is the drums. Like, and, like, the track Poser Stew, like, yeah, it's, you know, it, it's a fun song, but I'm sorry, I'm just, if I'm gonna listen to some thrash, I'm gonna listen to Slaughter Lord. Like, for real, like, that's just what I'm, or early Toxic Holocaust, early Sodom, early Destruction, early Creator. I'm sorry, but, like, this type of thrash metal does absolutely zip for me. Especially when I opened the lyric sheet and saw this. And I get the whole pizza thrash thing, but I don't, I don't like it. I really don't. It's just not my thing. And I guess uh, these guys hail from New Jersey... Ross Snyder on vocals and lead guitar, Matt Proust on guitar, Mike DePisa on bass, and Madman Matt Yar on drums. Like I said, the drumming on here to me is the number one reason to check this out. It's just, you know, really well, like, the drum performance is sick. But you have a light at the end. Poser Stew is probably like the silliest but like best song on here. Kind of reminds me of SOD at times also. Mondo America, Mung, Twice Dead, Razor Sharp, Gross Intent, Gross Encounters of the Nerd Kind, Metal Malicia. Get it? <laughs> Shit show. I am not amused. 
that kind of sums up how I feel about this. But Lethal Lunch, that's a great song title, by the way. Ancient Terror, SFTMA, Open a Suggestion, and Serial Thrasher. So maybe they should put the pizza down. And uh, just the party thrash thing. Like, it's not... I can see why people like this. Uh, I just have, uh, um, I was listening to some of Feather and Bone, so that's on the turntable right now. I'm just playing the Bandcamp version. It's like a really nice LP, though. I'm pretty sure 180 grand, like, just based on the weight and stuff. But, uh, the Donner Party, Cutting Class, you get, uh, 15 tracks. Uh, crossover party thrash. Again, not really my cup of tea. And like, even the cover art, I was just like, I kind of, you know, again, when somebody sent this to me on Bandcamp, I was just like, why would, like, I, I honestly was like, why does this person think I would like this? And then they were like, well, I heard you talking about Toxic Holocaust, and I was like, whoa, 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 like, what are you, what? How are you comparing this to Toxic Holocaust? I'm sorry, but no. Like, no, no, and no again. This is, like... I, baby's first thrash record compared to like Evil Never Dies where it's like whoa this sounds like early Sodom this rules where this like I said I'd rather just listen to Hazardous Mutation by Municipal Waste or some early DRI and I'm good I don't need this now maybe they shouldn't have cut music writing, songwriting class, because, again, like, even the riffs, like, I, nothing really sticks out as being, like, yo, check out the riff at, like, three minutes in on this track or something, or, like, check out this, like, circle pit part. I feel like the drummer is just a little bit better than everybody else in the band, and they can't really play full speed that again i'm i'm sorry i'm just telling it how i feel because i really feel like this band has some potential like especially with the tongue-in-cheek if you don't know about the donner party there's a little scene in the shining that sums it up in like five seconds pretty much i know all about cannibalism but uh Again, I do really like this art piece right here. It's just cool, but the party on the flipped up brim hat, I'm sorry, but I know there's a track on, like, there's a bunch of, like, po posers with, like, the line cut out, but this is very far from a poser disposer, in my opinion. This is just whatever. I, I don't get it, honestly. Like, uh, I don't know, and it's also pretty beat up cosmetically, but that's fine. But this was recorded in Jersey City, so you gotta respect New Jersey or prepare for eternal combat, regardless. But, like, when I was reading some of the lyrics, I was just like, you know, like, okay. But again, like, you know, I could see some people, like, enjoying this, but most of you are going to be like, I'm good. Like, I'll stick to the waist. And, hey, if you're new to Thrash, though, I mean, this is definitely a good gateway. But there's a lot better out there. But it just depends on what type of Thrash you like. Again, I, I really don't like 
the party pizza thrash. But I know I'm saying when it's a waste because they're they're fun. They write fun songs, and especially Hazardous Mutation. It's just a good record from start to finish. It just is. They're split with Toxic Holocaust for, like, kind of mainstream thrash. That split is fire. Like, I remember hearing that and being like, whoa, like, this rule. And here, like, some of the vocals I like. And then some of the other ones, I'm just like... Like, I get it, you know, you're rhyming certain words, but it just doesn't, like, really do much for me. Like, detention sucks. I'm sorry, I'm a grown-ass man, and I know, like, but, like, I, I honestly, I never even had detention once in my life. Or if I did, I never went, like... So, I, 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 I don't know, I can't relate to this. But, like, the slice of pizza, the skateboard, the par it's just such a stereotypical record. And I feel bad because, I, you know, like I said, I like the fact that Soul Grinder Zine just exists. Like, print is badass, and so is physical media. But, like, hello, my name is Donner Dave. Like, it's a great illustration, but you might as well just hire Ed Repka if you're going to go this route. And if you don't know Ed Repka, come on. I, I know not everybody's that into, like, artwork and stuff, but real quick, because... As soon as I show you this, you're going to be like, oh, I know that guy. Because I could just pull out Scream Bloody Gore, but I'm not going to do that. And I just drew a dead ass blank. Oh my god. Oh wait, never mind. Uh, there it is. Gruesome. Now that... Ed Repka. Always forget this is like limited to a hundred copies. But like, this record could really have used like somebody like Matt Harvey that knows his thrash metal to like listen to it and be like, hey. Like you, you should probably, you know, take out these gang vocals here. Maybe only use them a couple times, but I don't know. It's just, again, I could see people liking it. It's just not for me. But I do, you know, if you're going to go for this style of artwork, I just feel like go with Repka. It's worth the extra money. Like, very similar styles. If you just look at, like, all of Repka's art. But the back, it looks like legit, like, a Santa Cruz skateboarding, like, advertisement. Which is, again, that's, that's cool as hell. But, I don't know, it's one of those little, it's not even a, like, complaint. It's just a dumb, me being, you know. But, you know, it would make a great skate graphic, kind of, but then again, like, I would just rather listen to SOD, I'm sorry, uh, Soul Grinder, but... The Donner Party is just not my type of thrash, and I apologize. What was that? 
Alright, see now I'm like... Uh, I'm sorry, now this is getting kind of on my nerves. Step away from me before I blow my top. Like, I don't remember reading that lyric. I'm sorry, but... Track 7. What? I wish I could be a goober now and just disappear? Wow, they definitely just used the mall rat sample. That's kind of cool. That's probably the coolest thing about the Donner Party and cutting class. So folks, don't cut class. But again, if you want to cut your teeth on some thrash metal that isn't from Brazil from like 1989, if that's not your cup of tea, that legit sucks. But like... A lot of people will just say, listen to Demolition Hammer, and you're good. And, yeah, you can do that. But here, like I said, if you actually enjoy Cutting Class by the Donner Party, you obviously love Municipal Waste, SOD, DRI, Early Anthrax, and just... Kind of stereotypical, polished, like, thrash. Very polished, compared to a lot of the stuff that, like, Head Split sends me. And I, I know not every um, deceased record is, like, thrash. But, like, when deceased play thrash, I think it's, like, some of their best shit. Alright, so this is available on vinyl and cassette. Okay, they have a record called Pizza Patrol. Yeah, I remember seeing this stuff when the person sent me the link. This new junk... Okay, hold on, let's read the hype on the Bandcamp real fast. This New Jersey pummeling crossover powerhouse treat us to slabs of metal saturated in hardcore punk that will, with loving aggression, put a boot up your ass. I, I don't think so, Tim. Um, let me read some more stuff here real fast. Because it's just... Alright, like... Yeah, I'm just trying to see something real fast. Cutting Class contains 15 raucous tracks of mind-melting pizza-fueled crossover thrash. Sorry, but, like, that alone, yeah. Just not really my thing, but I just appreciate the support from Soul Grinder Records and... I really do apologize, and I have heard this in the past, digitally, kind of forgot about it, and then, like, this arrived in the mail, and I was looking at it, and I was like, why do I know this cover art, and why do I know this band name, and then I went upstairs, and I threw it on the turntable, and I was like, I've heard this before. And I, I made it to um, Mondo America, and I had to, I had to turn it off. I'm sorry, just I I was in the mood for some of Feather and Bone. Like, sorry, this just wasn't gonna cut it when it came to you know. That, but I'm trying to look at some of these like little details. I'm just very confused with the artwork. Also, like, why is there a you know, like rich person? And oh, cutting. Uh, I I kind of get it. Is this supposed to be like the rich class and the poor class? Cutting class. 
I hope not. That I'm sorry that that's not that's really just. Uh, I I feel like such an asshole whenever I like don't like something. I just can't help it. This just it's beyond mediocre in my opinion. I'm not a fan of pizza thrash. I'd rather just eat my pizza, no cheese. Uh, if you watch my videos, you you know I, I'm just not a cheese fan. I'm sorry to the Donner Party and especially the Soul Grinder Records and uh, Soul Grinder Zine because again, print is not dead, but Pizza Thrash can frig off for all uh, honestly for all I care. Like, but if I was stuck on an island and this was the only record I had, you don't want to know what I would do with it. If I knew I was, like, screwed and this was the only piece of music I could ever listen to, I, I'm i not trying to sound like an asshole, but honestly, I would probably break the LP and just show's over. I, I couldn't do it. I mean, I just would rather not... I, see, I'm sorry. I would just rather listen to the ocean ambience. Yeah, I know it's some hippie shit, but, like, that to me is more engaging than talking about getting drunk and eating pizza. Just not, not really my thing. I'm not a cereal thrasher. And when, like I said, when it comes to the party thrash thing, I feel like I'm I'm just shit talking, and I I hate shit talking, but I just it's not my thing. And real quick, let's see who did the artwork, cause I do want to throw them a bone, just because they did do a a good job. It's just I I know what they were going for, kind of, or what I think they were going for. And in the promo photo, I'm just looking at uh, t-shirts, though. I see I see somebody wearing an Ignite shirt, but Amon Amarth? Nah, see. Is that a swastika? <laughs> the hell? No, it's not. What, what, I don't know what that is, but... Oh, no, it's not. Something... I was gonna say, what the fuck? No way. Yeah. Yeah, this guy has an actual pizza patch. I'm trying to see what pizzeria this is. I don't know why I thought that was a swastika. I'm sorry. And these are like grown. These dudes are like my age, it looks like. But, I mean, hey, if it pays the bills, keep on doing it. But I can't join the party. I apologize. So, I do like the hardcore influenced, like, font, though, like, the varsity letters. That's, like, the, the honest only thing that, like, really kicks ass about this. And I'm so sorry. And, again, like, if you're a fan of this style of art, like, obviously, you know, that's a very, like, cool drawing and illustration, but if it wasn't with, like, if this was just, like, on, like, a BMX or skateboard, well, obviously, if this was, like, a skateboard t-shirt, to me, it makes more sense, but I forgot to read the artist's name. I apologize. Front cover art and logo by Lou Morg. Oh, the back cover art's done by somebody completely different. Non-heinous. Alright. So, non-heinous definitely needs to get a job at, like, Santa Cruz. Because, yeah, he's got that style down. Hell, that dude probably might work at, you know, Santa Cruz. But the Donner Party, cutting class... Again, 15 tracks of party, pizza, thrash. Just not my cup of tea. 
on 12 inches of black vinyl. I don't know if there's color. It's probably like a pizza variant or something. But it's like a heavy duty, like, it's heavy wax. Like, it's not some, like, you know, flimsy, wafer thin, like, LP. It's at least 140 grams. I'm guessing. Again, I, I might be wrong. But. The Donner Party. Cutting class. Stay in school, kids. For real. Pay attention. It's one thing I legitimately regret from high school. And that is, like, not going to classes and not paying attention to, like, history and stuff that I actually kind of cared about, but just wanted to go ride an empty swimming pool instead. But when it comes to the Donner Party cutting class musically, I have to give it just a straight up 4 out of 10. Just because I know there's some people that are going to really like this. And especially if you're a fan of this style of thrash, you're probably going to like this. But I'm not a fan of this type of thrash metal. I'm more of a, and I hate sounding like this, but I'm more of like, hey, I, I love like Brazilian eight, like late to mid 80s early 80s like just like thrash that's my shit like i just love it and like i said like german early germany thrash metal like that's you can't you can't play with that shit like oh but Me i'm sorry like metallica i don't even i could care less i really like i mean if i had to I, I could listen to Master of Puppets. I could listen to Injustice for All. I could listen to Ride the Lightning. Do I want to? Honestly, no. I don't. Like, I don't like Kill Em All. Yeah, it just does zero for me. I could, I, dude, fucking Slayer. Like, for real, I, I, I just, I'm sorry. Like, I'm, I'm listening to Slayer. I'm listening to Hellhammer. I I'm good. I, I don't. I don't need Metallica. And I'm not trying to sound like you know you fucking elitist asshole gatekeeper motherfucker. No, I just don't like the pizza thrash shit. I'm sorry. I never have. Don't get me wrong. You know, Municipal Waste used to be so fun live. But then you see them at a venue where there's a barricade, and it's like... <laughs> this sucks. But the music, depending on what set they're playing, is normally badass, because Tony, Dave Witt, like... Landfill... Like, you have a gnarly lineup of music. Dave Witt's one of the best drummers ever. I don't think... A lot of you even know who burned the sun are. Burnt by the sun are. Like, <laughs> check out Burnt by the Sun. Like, I think it's Dracula without glasses. That song is hard. But, the Donner Party, I'm sorry, but, you know, I'm sorry that the real Donner Party had to eat one another to survive. Where this Donner Party spent probably a lot of money on cutting class. So, yeah. If you're into that type of thrash metal, you know, support Soul Grinder. Otherwise, try and grab a zine. Um, th that's honestly what I thought Soul Grinder was sending, was like a new copy of the zine. I had no idea I was going to get an LP. And then an LP I've heard before, which was like, whoa, like, what? And then I was like, oh, because I, I saw that it was in, like, a vinyl box, and I was like, whoa, like, I didn't know, like, and then I, I was like, oh, yeah, and then as soon as I started listening, I was like, wait, I've heard this, and yeah, just... 
Sorry. But again, hails to Soul Grinder Zine for making today's video possible. And thank you, maniacs, for watching. If you made it this far in, make sure your patron stuff is all up to date. Because the prizes are so gnarly this month. And yeah, that's about it. I'm sorry again to Soul Grinder Zine and Soul Grinder Records, but cutting class by the Donner Party, I'll have to just take a hard, hard pass and have to skip the uh, pizza party. So, sorry, like, just listen to, like I said, you know, early Anthrax, DRI, I'm just saying Toxic Holocaust, because Toxic Holocaust plays a type of thrash I personally, I want to hear on the early stuff. Like, just that Sodom and, like, Bath, like, because it's like a mix of like early Sodom and early Bathory on like Evil Never Dies and it's just badass. But whatever. I'm sorry. This is just the opposite in my opinion. Very cartoony. And again, I know some of you are into that type of stuff. So it's just not for me. And I'm going to shut the fuck up. Thanks for watching as always. You fucking rule. Hails. And thanks again to Soul Grinder for making today's video possible. I'm sorry, but I have to tell the truth. Hey.